All right, well, you know, as humans, we have so many different ways to relax, and many of us turn to yoga. Well, but what about our four legged friends? They need a stress reliever, too. So, the good people at Enchiladas want to treat you and your furry friends to a delicious meal and some doga. That's right. Brilliant, brilliant. So, yeah, well, we were, we were one of the first people to actually have a dog friendly patio because our place is so conducive to it. We have a lot of outdoor seating. I love this idea. So, so in, in celebration, of that, yes. uh, Chef Tiffany Nagel Allison. She came in this morning. All of these ingredients, and at first I thought, you know, I thought we were doing dog treats because, all, and I was a little surprised because everything I'm looking at here is stuff that we would all eat. But you found that people are actually coming in the restaurant and ordering off the menu. That's exactly so. It. You created so, a menu. Exactly. So what they're doing is they're coming in and they're ordering a hamburger without the bun and without you know without the condiments that come with it. But what they don't realize is that our human food is very heavily seasoned. Mm -hmm. Our human food, you know, we've made for human consumption. It's got salts in it and things that dogs. It's not necessarily good for them. Right. Um, so a lot of the things that you might think, you know, a lot of times you're feeding your gristle to your dogs, you're feeding, you know, give a dog a bone, that's actually really bad for your dog. Okay. So what we've done is we've developed, um, or we're in the process of developing a menu um, at Ancheladas specifically for your dog. Okay. And depending, um, we're actually, we're going to design one for Rosie because she's the dog that's with us yes. today. Yes, and she's been worked out already. She so has I'm already sure had her workout. <laughs> I'm sure she's working up an appetite as Absolutely. we Absolutely. And, okay. you know, you want to really, there's, there's different things that you can use. You know, you've got your proteins. You know, peanut butter is a protein. Eggs are a protein. Uh, ground meat is a protein. That's not seasoned. That is not seasoned. Okay. You know, your chicken and you want to remove all this? the fat. That's actually oatmeal. Wow. Okay. And this is, oatmeal is great for older dogs. So anybody that has digestive issues. Just like us just humans. Like us we humans. all need a little help, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, you obviously your green beans are good for your plant fiber, your vitamin K. Mm -hmm. um, apples are a great little snack for dogs. So what we're doing is we're developing a menu where you can pick your protein, pick your vegetable, and it will tell you the, what it does for your dog. Yeah. Does your dog need more fiber? Should they have some sweet potatoes? Um, is it an overweight dog? Do you want to, you know, just do the calcium and protein through yogurt? Mm -hmm. Unsweetened, you know, you don't put all those unnatural things inside of it like right. we do to sweeten our things. Right, right. Uh, but actually cater specifically to dogs. Well, another protein you have over there is salmon. Yeah, we're actually cooking salmon, but once again, it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been seasoned. And I think that's really the key, right, Chef? Because you want to make sure that you don't put any of those and uh, like onions and exactly. all those crazy seasonings. Exactly. That's not good for them. So, so you're going to make up a little. Dish. We're going to do a little one for Rosie. Okay. Okay. So we'll give her a little bit of protein. We'll give her some salmon. I know firsthand because I've been working with her all morning that she loves peanut butter. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna give her a little bit of peanut butter. And the folks tuning in just now, watching her put peanut butter on salmon. Yes. This is for the dog. This is for the dog. <laughs> that's right. And then we're gonna give her a little bit of sweet potato. Okay, and we can actually use that on the bottom as a glue to kind of stick it. And you're making it right? pretty too. Well, dogs are beautiful. People are beautiful. You know? They have eyes too. They have eyes too. <laughs> um, and you know, you can surround it with a little bit of yogurt, and we'll give her a little bit of that. And she's a tiny little dog. She obviously yeah. doesn't have a weight issue or anything right. of that nature. Um, everybody loves a little bit of ground beef. We'll give her a little bit of ground beef. <laughs> and then, of course, the garnish, parsley, is actually for her breath. Oh. Okay. I hadn't so, gotten that close to her. Way, so I well, will be later, so thank you for that's that. That's right. Look, she's doing downward dog. She's doing downward dog. Of course she is. <laughs> Look at her. She's all excited. You have to bring her over here so she can taste test. Because, yeah. I mean, I would taste test Absolutely. that. Absolutely. That's perfectly, you know, we, uh, consumable. We, uh, Thursday night, we're actually having a big party at Anchiladas. We have, I don't know, do you know Roger Klein? Oh, He's performing yeah. a free concert at Anchiladas on Thursday night. Really? So you can bring your dogs. You can come on back and enjoy, uh... Oh. Look at it. It just met the seal of approval. That's the most important part. Nice. Oh, she's like, now more. she's going to be like, ready for Doga. No way. Look at this. She loves that. Is of that too course. big? No, oh, heck no. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so we got to pause up. We got one paw up. That's all we need. So, how many different items do you have on the menu just for um, dogs? We're actually we're developing it right now. And oh, right okay. now we're looking at about 10. Well, I say I say definitely put this one on. Because yeah, Rosie's no question. Giving it and a we'll pause have up. And maybe like something we do that's our house special. You know, that's already pre made if you don't know what your dog's particular diet. We might have like something, a combination for low 
calorie diets, you know, higher calorie diets. Yeah. You know, because you want, you know, you need, dogs need meat, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. Um, it helps with their metabolism and their muscle gain and all that, just like us. You're adorable. I They love run on this. fuel. Very smart of you, Chef Tiffany. I love it, and so does Rosie. And let me just tell you that the event is a Sunday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Anchiladas. It's on Dreamy Draw Drive. We have more information on our website, SonoranLiving.com, and we're still going to learn how to do a little doga with our own puppies at home. So we're going to learn that in just a little bit. All right, when we come back, 